Greetings, Daniel Preseto for Adobe Photoshop, and we are continuing our 3D menu series, and the next one is Select Paintable Areas, and this feature allows you to select uh, parts of the area on a model that are available to paint on. Sometimes you might be wanting to know, where can I paint on this model? And you just select that menu item, and it starts giving you the outline, the selection tool that many are familiar with already in Photoshop. And to give you an idea, I'm going to do a gradient here, and just throw it all over the paintable areas and then we'll have a look and in this case it looks quite large right you're missing some areas here and some areas there and if we rotate the model a little bit here let me choose my 3d tool here my little menu down here and you can see the selection remains there but you can see the areas that it got and it's quite fascinating the large coverage that you have with this brush or this particular option right now. And it didn't touch anything in the back, obviously, because that's not paintable. But if we take this area like that and we choose it again, it's going to show you another. Let's change this to red and give you another idea. It's just a very easy way to be able to visualize what you can paint on. And I can actually paint on If I choose my brush, you can start to see all the areas I can paint. I like using the gradient tool here for, as an, for an example because it just shows you very quickly um, all the areas that are available and I think yeah there we go let's turn off the selections here command or control D will turn the selections off let's go back to my 3d tool and we'll turn them around and you can see those are the areas that I, the paint would be able to hit and it's also cool you know just so you know for doing interesting effects he looks like some other faction of the FETs here maybe a different FET and that again is paint 3d select paintable areas and it just allows you to see those areas that are available to paint on and it kind of gives you an idea of how to paint in 3d I don't use it quite often when I do use it for I do it sometimes for crazy stuff like this but it's a great way to kind of visualize again where that paints gonna go and give you an idea how to learn to paint in 3d please leave any comments questions on the channel and thank you for watching on to the next menu item